Hi everyone and welcome back to The Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see this husband tag. Um, I have only showed my husband on my channel maybe like once or twice. Um, kind of helping me clean here a little bit. So I thought it'd be fun for um, not only like posterity for me and uh, memories because I'm all about the memories. But also fun to do this tag and just see what he says. Uh, <laughs> My husband kind of works out of town a lot too, so I had to get him while he was still here and um, awake. Yes. <laughs> so, because um, he commutes. So, I convinced him, and now we'll see what the answer to these questions are. All right, let's do it. Oh man. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notifications because you don't want to miss the craziness. Here we go. All right, um, and I just looked this up off of Google, so it looks right. We'll see. All right, how did we meet? Um, um, it's kind of a long story, actually. I had just gotten sure back. Answer. Yeah, I just gotten back off a of deployment from Iraq. A buddy of mine was returning from his deployment. We uh. We knew the same person. He was actually dating this girl, and I kind of was friends with her in high school. So she set up this like homecoming party for the both of us, and it ended up being at my mom's apartment. And Lacey knew knew that she was best friends with that girl. Yeah. Um, which I, you know, it come to find out, we went to the same high school. Didn't even know. know each other. Um, she graduated a couple of years before I did. But yeah, that's how we met. We met at my mom's apartment for this homecoming party, mm -hmm. which is super weird. <laughs> which is super, and I didn't want to go because I lived by myself at the time, and I was like, it's at his mom's house. Like, I was all uppity, 21 year old. Yeah. Like, I mean, to be fair, I was 19. Uh, I didn't live with my mom. I lived on the other side of the country. So I was home, but I didn't have a car or anything. Yeah. And I was staying at my mom's. What was your first impression? I thought she was super hot. But I was in a relation. I had just gotten out of a relationship. You really thought that? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I had just broken up with uh, my ex-girlfriend like a couple weeks before that. And I wasn't really like looking for to be in a relationship. I was just kind of wanting to do my own thing and partied up. I was, like I said, I was 19. But yeah, I thought she was, I thought she was really attractive. How and where was our first date? Um, our first date was at a restaurant called Johnny Carino's, an Italian restaurant. And how was it? I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it must have been pretty good. We're 13 years later, we're still here, so. That's true. I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I let him drive my car, and he almost hit another car. Does this count as bonus points? I, I vaguely remember what you were wearing. Do you really? 13 years ago, yeah. You remember what I wore on our I think day? you were wearing... Do I remember? Oh, man. Now I don't want to say, because I might mess it up. I want to say you were wearing, like, a teal shirt. Like a teal colored shirt. I think it was like a tank top, like a spaghetti strap shirt, and then blue jeans, I think. That's right. And then some type of wedges. It was, I borrowed a shirt from my friend, and yeah, I was wearing jeans. Look at that. Are we keeping score? Who's keeping score? I need a tally on here. He's doing pretty good. I'm very <laughs> impressed. I'm very impressed. Um, uh, when did I meet your family? Like your entire family or like your mom and dad? I, I would have seen like mom and dad. And then Was it on our wedding day <laughs> I met your mom? No, I had to have met her before then. Like the day before? Was it the day before? Holy crap. And then I didn't meet your dad until after. It was a couple months later. 
Yikes. Boys, always meet the parents before you get married. I met his family, though. Yeah, well, I mean, you were kind of thrown into the deep end. I had met his family because I had met his mom. And then while he was on deployment, like, visiting, he called me one night and said, um, everybody, my family's going out to dinner. Do you want to come with us? And I said, okay. And I didn't know it at the time. And, like, his dad was there. And I thought his parents were divorced. And they were just, like, separated. But I yeah. didn't know. So his dad was there. His uncle was there. Like, all these people were there. I was like, oh, okay. And so I had met a bunch of his family. But um, he hadn't really. I lived on my own, though. And I, just, I guess I just had, like, my own life. and. Yeah. I don't know, I told my mom that I was going to go to North Carolina and she said, well, you can drive there, you can drive home. And she was really nice, to, like she was really, I said I was going to go, you know, out there to be with him and yeah. then we got married and she, we picked her up from the airport like the day before we got married, or a day or two, and yeah. that's the first time they met. So, I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, how did you know that I was the one? You're gonna put me on the spot like that? Okay. Yep. I don't know. Like, I don't... You need to get this Appreciate it. <laughs> I don't really... I don't recall, like, there being a definitive moment of, like... Me knowing or wanting to like be with you I think it was just kind of there all along like I used to be a firm believer that like you had to get to know somebody like and I still am but difference between my ex-girlfriend and you was a complete 180 just like personality wise and stuff but I didn't have the same feeling with her of like, oh yeah, like, I want to be with her, I want to marry her. It was kind of just like, okay, well, like, we've been together for so long, like, it's probably time to, like, do this. But with you, it was, it was like, okay, like, yeah, I can see myself with her, but I don't remember there being, like, a definitive moment. You just knew. Like, I think, yeah, like, when you know, you know, and I just knew. That's kind of how. Uh, when and why did you fall in love with me? When and why? I don't know if there's an actual when. No, there had... Let me think. <laughs> you have to think? <laughs> I'm trying to think of when it was. Because, I mean, we were only together. Before we got married, we were together six months. Like actual like relationship wise, like we did the long distance thing for three months, and then we got we lived together for three months, and we were married. Mm -hmm. um, I remember telling you that I love you when I asked you to go check on my mom and sisters. I think I knew before that. You did? Yeah. I knew before that. I probably knew a while ago. Like a while before that. I just didn't say anything. And then I just threw the L bomb out there. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay, bye. It was on the phone. Yeah. We lived like, well, I mean, we li yeah, we lived on opposite ends of the country. But Yeah, but I called him right back. Don't let him. Yeah, I called yeah, him right I was like half asleep and I was just like, oh. <gasps> Like, I was like, really, it was like two in the morning. Like, I'm, you, I'm slick with it. How long have you been together? We have been married 11 and a half years. Almost 12. Almost 12. And we've been together for 12 years. How do you resolve problems? Uh, how do I or how am I supposed to? <laughs> because I resolve problems eventually by talking about it, but it takes me a while to get to that point. 
Like I have to like sit and just kind of get through it in my own mind by myself and just come to terms with whatever it is before I can like sit there and actually talk about it. And and then we talk about it. Yeah. So and and I mean, it gets, it's and that's fine, not yeah. like. It's not like it's like, oh, let me just sit for like a half an hour and think about it. Like, it's days. Like, it takes me days to get to See where I'm roll? okay yeah. with whatever situation it is. And then I can physically talk about it. Because if I'm not okay with it mentally, then it's... It doesn't do us any Yeah, it, it. like, I just put up a wall, a wall and it, it'd be easier to talk to the wall than to talk to me if I'm not with the situation at all it's not healthy for me but that's just how I deal with things so then we come together but usually when we come together and like he's like talked about it thought about it like he's good like we can usually resolve things like super fast yeah like there's not I don't we don't necessarily have like knockdown drag out no not really usually once I come to term with something we sit down and we talk like, okay, this is what I think, this is how I feel about it, like, what's your side of it, and then we have... We, it's just like a conversation. Yeah, lay down I don't a think plan. there's like, I could probably count on my hand the times when we've like yelled at each other. Oh, yeah. Like, we never like... Yeah. We never like get... Ter like, and yelling at Anthony, like, he just laughs at me anyway. Yeah. I used to be in the Marines, so I used to have a lot of people yelling at me, and this little tiny thing trying to yell at me is just funny to me. It's like I'm not intimidating. No. It's like no, there's not even any like purpose to it. So <laughs> me getting mad like doesn't. It's like so <laughs> yeah. So we we can resolve problems kind of. Yeah. We've worked it out, so it's good for our relationship. But the, I you think, have to figure out how to communicate. I think. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is talk to each other like adults and just lay lay your feelings about the situation out there. Let your partner lay the situation, their feelings about the situation out there and then bounce ideas off each other. Like, how are we going to get through this? Yeah. yeah. What do you two do for a living and are you using your college degree? I do information technology for the government, more specifically the Marine Corps Reserve side. Um, I used to be in the Marines and I did uh, IT stuff for them. I don't have a college degree. I'm actually currently working on a college degree. So I guess you're not using it. So I'm not <laughs> using it. No, I can't use what I don't have. True, true. Um, I, what do I do? Oh my goodness. You run the household. Is that a job? Yes, it's probably working three jobs compared to what I do. I mean, the house, the house is still standing because of this woman. Like, she takes care of, I mean, we have one, one child and she homeschools him. She keeps him alive. <laughs> she makes sure everything's done. The house is clean. She does YouTube. She does whatever errands that need to be done because I'm hardly home. I mean, she's running the house by herself basically. And, you know, I do what I can when I'm home, but I'm not home a whole lot, so. I write a blog. Yeah. And I write a blog for our church. And so I'm kind of like an amateur writer. Those are all the hats I wear. I don't even know. It's a lot of hats. It's a lot of hats. I was trying to think of like, I wanted to do something else. Like today, I was like in the car driving, and I was like, I think I could do that. I wonder where I could fit that in in my time. <laughs> like I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, need I don't that know. Much sleep, like yeah. I was just like, I don't know where I could fit that in. So yeah, I, I don't know. Like it's, I feel like I do a lot of stuff. You do do a lot of stuff. You think? Yeah. Really? You're constantly busy. And she doesn't sleep a whole lot. It's not like she sits there and gets like a full eight hours of sleep. Never. I mean, maybe four tops. Maybe. 
you know, and that's like four good hours of sleep. What key elements make your relationship successful? Um, I would probably say, uh, I, I think trust is a big part of our relationship. Communication is another part of our relationship that's that's key. I get, we're like super open too, and I think that has really helped our relationship. And like not because he travels a lot for work and like this is better for our family even though like it sounds awful and sometimes it is but a lot of the things are like you let a lot of the little stuff go because you only have so much time so if you only have this much time you don't let so many things bother yeah. you as in the beginning of our relationship you let a lot of little things bother you because you want that other person to like be the way you want them to be and I think that because we came from such like weird background situations we both didn't have a lot of trust in people yeah. and then we had to kind of like we had to learn that it was like it didn't just come like and I, it wasn't even like built in it wasn't so we had to like I mean it probably like I would say seven years Oh, yeah, Maybe. it took close to a decade, yeah. Yeah, and like, before it was like, oh, okay, we're good. But it wasn't always like that. And to live the way we live now, we just know that, like, that's why when we say, like, we don't fight and stuff, it's like, is it worth it? Is this really worth fighting about? No. I was going to say, yeah, it helps to have one, like perspective. one side to be passive. I'm pretty passive on most things. That's true. I really don't care what she does, like household wise. Like, she always asks me, oh, What do you think about this? I'm gonna go get this. I'm like, You know, I, to be honest, like, I really don't care. And it's not to sound mean, like, I don't care, do whatever you want. But it's like, I, I, it doesn't matter to me what curtains are put up in the house or We're like just what about pictures curtains. are put up in the house. Like, that doesn't matter to me. Like, that doesn't. To me, that doesn't make a home a home. You know, for her, it does. The de decorations and stuff, that makes a home a home. And for me, it just doesn't care. I don't care about that. What makes the home a home? Living in it. Like the people. Yeah. What do you love about me? <laughs> Your craziness. What? Yeah. I am not crazy. I don't think they know my crazy side. Okay? No. It'll come out. Don't worry. You'll see it one day. But you mean like crazy, I think like, like crazy, or like crazy, like silly? Silly. I was gonna say. No, I don't think you're like crazy, crazy. I think it's more crazy, silly. I do love that you're adventurous. You're always willing to try something new. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't matter what it is. Fear doesn't really get to her. I mean, it does, but then at the same time, it's like, well, you know, yeah, let's go bungee jumping. Worst case scenario is we die. Like, if it's our time, it's our time type thing. And that kind of keeps me on my toes because I'm, like, super protective of everybody. So. <laughs> this is not so true. <laughs> no, this one's funny. Children, how many do you want? Yeah, how many do we want? I don't know. I always grew up thinking one or two, but now that we're at that point where we can't have, we physically can't have any more, yeah. it's like I want three or four. You know, and I never thought myself that to be that way where I wanted. I wish know, we could have had multiple children. A lot. I, we only have one. I wish but, we could have had. A lot. We could probably still go have like in vitro and do yeah. and have more. It's just kind of risky. So. Yeah. I mean, and the Lord's blessed us with one awesome child. I mean. And I think part of like our journey is almost like to be content with what we've been given. Yeah. For and sure. And we've had to really learn that. Like, you have to be content with what you're given. And like, this is what we were given. What's my favorite color? I'm 
answer all Pink. these questions. That's right. You, do you even have a favorite color? Yeah, that's Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't take this from me. <laughs> What's my favorite food? Sushi. All food. All food. <laughs> I like to eat. Ugh, what's my favorite sports team? The Angels. Because that's your favorite? Because we like the Angels in this house, and if you don't like the Angels, you don't get to live in this house. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what food do I not, what food do I not like? I don't know. They're going to think I'm 8,000 pounds. You're not 8,000 pounds. Liver ah. and onions. <laughs> I've never had that for the record. You probably wouldn't like it even if you did have it. I don't even know what I don't like, so. I'm going to say, have you encountered a food that you don't like? Like, really, like, don't like? Like, there's not really a whole lot that I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't like that. Like, I'm not super, super picky. I don't anything. like vegetables. <laughs> it's my nemesis of life that he does not eat vegetables. She could be a vegetarian. And oh, yeah, I, I totally could. Like, that's not me. I gotta have the meat. Gross. All right, so your favorite sandwich. What's my favorite sandwich? A Reuben. A Philly cheesesteak. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say like turkey. Oh. Like if you had to pick like a deli meat. Oh, is that what it like is? Asking, turkey. Like an actual deli meat. But you're probably right, like, cause I love Philly. Let me tell you. A chicken Philly. I love those too. <laughs> See, I like food. <laughs> um, if I could eat one thing every day, what would it be? Vegetables. Yeah. Gross. What is my eye color? Brown. Yeah. What's my eye color? Brown. Black. Black. <laughs> my eyes are super dark. Yeah, they are. Who is my best friend? Danny. Aw, good job. So wrap it around. <laughs> Bake me a cake, what would I like? Red velvet. That's true. Or a carrot. Ooh. I love a carrot. Carrot cake? I like carrots, just regular. It's good. Carrot cakes. Mm. Doesn't sound good. But what do we argue about the most? That or where to eat. Where do you want to eat? Oh, I don't really care. Wherever you want. Okay, let's go to here. No, I don't really want that. Okay, well, where do you want to eat? Oh, I don't care. Wherever you pick. Just not that. Okay, let's go here. Eh, I'm not really about that either. Okay, well, you just need to pick because... That's pretty accurate. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> what can I spend hours doing? Shopping. Yeah, that's true. Shopping or writing? That's true. She likes to write. She can spend hours doing it. Yeah, every time I write a blog, that's probably right. Because it's like, at least to get it written, three hours. And then somebody has to proofread it. And... Yeah. Because <laughs> I suck. And... my I go like faster than I can type. And I type pretty fast, so you, it's, um, but, oof. yeah, I, I need a proofreader, poor Anthony. I'll, like, email him, like, if he's gone, I'll email him and yeah. be like, you got, I can't submit, can It'll you? Be like, four in the morning, too, like, I get a text message, I just sent you my blog, can you proofread it? You want it done right now? It's like, yeah, yeah I need to send it in the morning. All right, hold on. This is true. That's love right there. <laughs> um, 
Who was the one to say I love you first and where was it? Me. As much as I hate to admit that, it was me. Oh, yeah, he was. Excuse me! <laughs> Don't lie, like. That's I absolutely would... true. <laughs> I had no idea. My my friends would be like, I'm like, I don't know, he calls me a lot. And like literally I got off work. I worked like um nine to six every day and I would get off at six o'clock and he would call me like six oh two. Like I would hadn't even made it to the car and he would call. This that's right. Terrible. Terrible if somebody wanted to talk to you. Terrible. Like, we were on opposite sides of the country though too, like so, so it was over waiting. the phone. Yeah. That was when I that was when I dropped the L bomb. And I used to be like, I don't know why he calls me all the time. My friends would be like, you don't know why. I'm like, yeah, you know he why. lives really far away. You know. I didn't think anything was gonna happen. Alright guys, that is it for the husband tag. I think you actually did pretty good. I Let's am go. very impressed. <laughs> I didn't know how this would go, so... I, to be honest, I was kind of worried. <laughs> I was like, oh, I told her before we started filming, I was like, I need to see these questions. I said no. Because I need to rehearse my answers. No. <laughs> so this was all on the fly. You did pretty good. Right. So I hope I, I, it was fun for you guys to watch. And I'm glad y'all came over and hung out with us today. And I will see y'all again in my next brand new video. Bye for now.